Hi, this is Aaron from Geller Woodworking, and I want to talk about the first two festival items I think you should buy if you're interested in going to festival. So I have in front of me, or with me right now, my camera that I use for my business. I've had this from 2010, so 13 years now, and it cost me three grand. So in that time, I have put an entire business with it. I have gotten a lot of value out of it. I mean, you take those 13, let's see here, take 3,000, divide it by... 13 years, I mean, that's around, what, $250 a year? Like 20 something bucks a month, that's that's nothing. Um, I'm talking about value because I think what it comes down to is how often are you going to use your tools? Because if you don't use it very often, it's not gonna be a great value. I don't care if you paid $400, $500, $800. If you're not using it, um, then you're not getting the value out of it. So I started off with this track saw and I would recommend that because to me it's a game changer. <clears throat> Excuse me. The sander is nice and I highly recommend it, but I recommend this first. Um, to give you some quick background, I got into this whole woodworking carpentry thing back in 2017. My wife and I bought a van to convert and I could not pay outfitters. It was I couldn't afford fifty, sixty thousand dollars, and I thought, well, you know, we can maybe do some woodworking and do something ourselves because we saw other people doing it. It was a place in town that had all these different tools, a saw stop. I mean, it was awesome. And so I got myself initially a jigsaw. I tried cutting sheets of ply with that. That was terrible. I paid one hundred and fifty dollars, I think, for that rigid jigsaw. And then I got a forty dollar Black and Decker circular saw worked way better. That being said, I struggled with getting straight cuts, falling the line. And so a couple of years later, a friend of mine commissioned me to build something. And I said to him, listen, I'll build it, but if you give me a track saw, that'll be kind of our exchange. He said, sure. So that's how I ended up with this. I almost got the Makita, but there are just a couple of things about this that I just like more. And I thought, you know what? If I had this for 10, 15 years, what's an extra $150, $200, you know? Um, so why would I recommend this? I think it's a very, it's very finessed. Um, I love that there is the batteries with it. They're Bluetooth, so they connect to my dust extractor. And you might be like, whoa, that's a lot of money, a dust extractor. And it was, I think I paid like a thousand dollars. And I'll share a tip on how to get Festool for uh, a bit cheaper, but yeah, it was expensive. It was like a thousand dollars with the Bluetooth module, the 26 liter capacity dust extractor plus the extractor. Now, the cool thing is you don't need to do that. You can just use this. This gets out an enormous amount of dust. I think Festool says 90% and I believe it. Um, but I think it runs about $800 for the track and it just allows you to get consistently straight cuts. And I love how you can bring this tool to the work piece as opposed to a table saw where you have to bring the work three sorry the work piece through the tool um it's got the bubbles and everything i mean you can go see reviews about it they're they're everywhere but for me the ability to take this mobile so this is the tsc 55 kb cuts real quick um they have an older version it doesn't cut as quickly where this does so i love that it's portable it's built well it just changes the game. Now there are a couple things that you can buy, buy for it that will make it even better. So we have this protractor. This will go onto the wood. And what's nice is there's a lip right here. So it sits on there. Um, doesn't wobble around like some other ones do. And then you can adjust the angle here. So just turn this. It's got detents at a 15, 22 and a half, 30, 45, and up to 60. Do I use those angles all the time? Uh, not so much, but I actually used it yesterday. So I highly recommend getting the kit with that. It's a great option to increase productivity. There's also parallel guides. And let me see if I can grab, here we go. This right here, it's like lightning bolt. Um, this is fantastic because it has that right angle piece on it. What we can attach to it is a TSO. So this is actually a TSO product that Festool licensed. In fact, it says TSO on it still. Uh, but what's great is you can determine your cut. So you want it to be 
10 inches and you loosen this, put it on 10. Again, this just slides in the back of the rail. So you butt the, the piece up to here and now your cut will be 10 inches. It's that simple. So the next tool is the sander. I love the sander because the five inches is a great size. Some people say you can put a six inch, I haven't tried that. But what's great about this is low vibration and it can run a battery or be plugged in. So there's a piece that looks just like this. It's got the plug it port and it will connect directly to an outlet or to a dust extractor. And the weight is, is really nice. I like how it feels in the hand, not too loud. You can feel the air flow coming out here and there is a dust bag that you can use with it. I think it works better with the extractor, but I highly recommend this version. Um, I think it's brushless, although I couldn't confirm it online. That being said, it, it just works really well. Now, one thing I love too is the brake. Done. I tried the 3M version and it kept spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. And now thankfully I have this guard, so therefore it won't, you know, butt against the table, but I didn't really care for that. So these are the first two I would start off with. Now, another accessory that you see right in front of me is the MFT table. I believe that this doesn't replace a table saw. It doesn't replace a miter saw. But the fact that you can bevel this, that you can change the miter and have a flag stop all in one thing, it's really nice. So think about this way, when you have a table saw, you have to start um, forward of it, right? Because you need space, that, that in-feed space, and you need out-feed space. You don't need that with this. So now there are some constrictions here with this. Um, I think the max we're gonna get out of this is about 28 inches wide. Um, so if you're pieced over that, then um, you might wanna have like a custom table for that. But, with this table, you have dog holes for everything. You can see I have something over here. I don't know if you can see that in the frame actually, but let me see if I can grab this. So this can go in any of the holes right here. Also along the side, there are grooves to work with. Now I will say, um, you do need to have some leg braces if you want this to be more stable, but for this application, I think it's wonderful. Um, you can really break down the bigger pieces on the ground and then refine it here. You can have multiple flag stops. I'm gonna make sure this is in the frame. Um, they're currently about 25 bucks, so they're not, you know, they're not cheap, but think about this way. I was making stools last year when I was living at the hospital because our son had to have heart surgery and I'd make these stools for different kids and their parents and you have um, a couple pieces that are all the same measurement or I guess how to say, you know, you'd have like the legs and the aprons, right? And so I can fix one size for the legs, another size for the aprons, and I can just flip it down to the aprons, flip it down to the legs, and I don't have to move it. So I love how you can be more production style with it. But like I said, I would start off with the track saw and then move the sander. Now if you already have a track saw, then you know, maybe go the sander first and then make sure you have some of these accessories. You'll get a lot more functionality out of it. The cool thing is you can just bring this, um, get the second ones, you can do parallel cuts. But with a couple accessories, you can have a mobile setup, take it to location and do things, do projects. I went to the opposite side of my state, see my best friend, and we broke down um, quite a bit of plywood. And I was just using, again, my mobile setup. So. Let me tell you about how you can get this stuff for a little bit cheaper. There are, I would say, two or three principal ways you can do that. Oh, this one's out the backyard. Um, there's something called Festool Recon. So Festool Recon is great because you go on their website. Now they do sell one tool at a time, but you can get things between 15 to 25% off. They are reconditioned from Festool Direct, so they come from Indiana, from Festool get a one-year warranty. Now, the only thing is they're not returnable. So you do have to contend with that. Um, 
What's nice about buying it brand new though is, let's say after 30 days, you don't want it because it's just not what you thought it would be, you can return it and then they sell it on the repurposed site. Um, so I always tell people if you're you know, not decided on, you know, you see this online, but you can't get your hands on it, but you really want it, buy it. If it's not working out, just return it. That's their policy. The other way is Facebook Marketplace. So um, right out of the camera view is a Festival Capex. That's normally 1600. I got one on Marketplace for 1100. Um, still about a year and a half of warranty on it. It's got a nice blade in it and everything. It works really well. So Festival Recon's great and Marketplace. You will find deals there. Also eBay. Um, got a number of things off eBay as well. So my dust extractor, it's a place called Hartville Warehouse. They're in Ohio. And you'll find they have a clearance outlet on eBay. I think returned items and things like that. So those are not really tools as much as they are accessories, but you can get good deals. Also, you will find in places like US Tool and Fastener, and again, Hartville Warehouse, they have clearance sections. I got, let me show you. So there's something called the Vaxis, the vacuum system. Um, it's no longer really available, but they have these suction, suction cups for it. It's good for like face frames and whatnot. Um, I got this half off, so I think it was like $83 or something. So normally 160 something. And that was just on their clearance site. So, you know, keep your eyes out for deals. Same with anything in life. Um, so if you have any questions about the you know, tools that I have that you've seen in the videos or any recommendations, let me know and I'm happy to share them with you. So again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video.